Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row 2, and today we're going to be finishing up the Sons of Sandy storyline, so let's do it here. You gonna stand there, or you gonna work out? I get enough cardio running from the cops. Suit yourself. I'm surprised you can run five minutes without coughing up a lung, let alone five miles. I'm full of surprises. Then surprise me and tell me how we're gonna take out the general. Well, that creep's always riding around in that limo of his, right? Yeah. So I figure the easiest way to find him is to go and tap into the traffic cameras at the police station. I don't know if easiest would be the word I'd use. All right, so it's not the easiest way, but it's the quickest. Besides, now I get to tag along. Are you high, or do you not remember the part where I told you I wasn't gonna babysit you? Okay, so you're gonna hack into the traffic cameras then? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Let's go, boss. You think I'd look good with- They're not gonna let us walk in dressed like this. We gotta get some disguises. Find the repairman, okay. So you have the helicopter now, you can actually use this. This is Tobias's um, uh, helicopter. So you unlock this during the Sons of Stomny storyline. It does help you get around the map pretty quickly. So basically, um, uh, we're gonna disguise ourselves as repairmen and go into the police station. And we're gonna hack the traffic camera so that we can figure out where the general is exactly. Man, just so many years later, 13 years later, the city is still looking beautiful. It's so much better than Steelport. Okay. Hijack the repair van, okay. He didn't stop at the stop sign. Okay, yeah, that's that's not okay. Yeah. Helicopter does help get across the map pretty quickly, but then the problem is you gotta try to land it. And while we're trying to steal this this van here. Ah, oh, come on. Congratulations. You're a statistic. This should be a new look for you. You look great in a jumpsuit. If you tell anyone I wore this, I'll kill you. You gotta learn how to take a compliment, boss. So all we gotta do is get you to the monitoring station? Just tapping into the cameras isn't enough. That's why Pierce is jacking some electronics so we can set up surveillance at the hideout. Okay, we're not gonna make sure we don't have guns on. We Did still have the hat the on. Remember to put your piece away. Most repairmen don't wave around guns. Welcome to the Stillwater Police Department. How may I help you? Well, you see, there's this thing, and it's We're broken. here to fix the computers in the monitoring station. God, there's always something acting up in this place. The monitoring station's upstairs. All right, let's get to the control room. So remember, Troy's the chief of police, and this is actually the biggest police station in Stillwater now. It's a new one, the Saints Row Police Station. Okay, Don't just give me a minute. Y'all are fucked now! What happened to this city? Man, I just love the um, AR-50. Okay, we just gotta cover Shandy. 
She's gonna finish this pretty quickly, though. This mission isn't that bad. So far, so good. SWAT team comes through the roof. Halfway done. Now I'm running dual desert eagles right now. Anyone gonna give me a real fight? Well this automatic shotgun definitely helps. a little more. I think we should be good now, um... It's done. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we just gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, great, I missed those shots. You gotta watch out for those attack helicopters, because they can blow you up. I got the stuff Shandy wanted. You sure she knows what she's doing? I really should have asked that before we broke into a police station, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, we're back at the hideout now. Alright people, here's the deal. We got a truck full of electronic shit that I don't know how to use. I want you guys to help unload the truck and set up shop here. Once we're up and running, I want someone watching these monitors 24-7. The moment someone sees that fucking limo, I want to know about it. Let's get to work. This is gonna work, right? Probably. You had me break into a police station for something that would probably work? Well, you know, I thought it would be good times. Thanks, Shandi. Anytime. So we don't know that it's gonna work, um, uh, 100% hacking into the traffic cameras. Chief Bradshaw learns the meaning of irony. The Samdi only have one dis uh, district left, that's it. Okay, let's do this. Holy shit. I found the limo. Yo, Shandi, where the hell are you? What's up? Get up, we gotta get moving. What, you're actually taking me along? I can't get a hold of Pierce. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome, now get up, we gotta catch that limo. You know what's really weird is that the, the place is fully renovated now, so that's what the Saint, Saint HQ looks like when you progress a lot through the storyline. But the thing about that is that that 
there's like this random dirty couch that Shandi is sleeping on in that cutscene. It never appears again. It just randomly appears in that cutscene. I just thought that that was just weird. Feeling okay, boss? Where are we going? The general's headed to the mall, and we got a little surprise for him. Get ready. Even an armored limo isn't going to stop a bus ramming you. Manténlos a todos. Now the general is going to make a run for it. And make sure if you want to get the limo, you cancel the mission right now like this. Like, I know people are saying, what are you doing right now? This is if you want to get the general's limo. Now, the unfortunate thing is that you can't get the general's limo by um, completing the Sons of Sandy storyline. This is what you have to do to get his limo. So, literally, the second that he gets out, because the door is locked, but the second you kill his bodyguards and he gets out... You just get in the limo and cancel the mission really quickly. Because if you don't do it quick enough, the limo is going to explode. So make sure you get into the limo first, and then, um, uh... And then you can just put it in your garage. See? And then... And then it's going to be in the garage whenever you want it. Okay, so let's continue on now. Manténlos a todos! Okay, so the general's gonna run away now. <laughs> the general's gonna run into the shopping mall. A lot of people forget about the underground shopping mall in Saints Row 2, but the underground shopping mall is probably the best mall that I've seen in an open world game besides Dead Rising games. Kill Here we go, this. Now this is really random. There's gotta be something to do around here. Yeah, and the general's in that thing. Ah, come on. I hate it when you get rammed like that. Okay. Damn, 
a lot of them here, but the... The Bulldog has taken a lot of damage so far already. Great. Where is he? Okay, got a magazine in this. Now you can take the ATV to chase him down if you want, but I like to go on foot. Um, a lot of guys to deal with here, though. Whoa, whoa, what was that? I just had a couch thrown at me? Okay. Okay, he's going around this side. I don't care what other people think. Ah. We will find you. Where is he? He's below us. Yeah, the reason I don't like the ATV is because they can smash into you and you can get knocked off pretty quickly. There we go. That's it for the general. Is he dead? You got a light? That's it, huh? Seeing as we stole their drugs, cornered the lower dust market, took their territory and killed their leader, I'm pretty sure the sons of Samdi are fucked. So, how'd I do? Well, he's dead and you're not, so I say pretty goddamn good. So you think I could take Gat? Not on your fucking life. What about Pierce? Probably not. Veteran child? Seeing as he's dead, I'm pretty sure you'd kick his ass. You're an asshole. So that was the end of the general. Um, I wasn't expecting that the first time that I um beat it. I actually thought that the, I thought that there was gonna be some kind of like um uh you know cutscene with him dying or something. I didn't think he'd just be dead on the floor. Mall closed for renovations, so I think it's more than just renovations. And we now have Pron Court. We have the General's Bulldog. We don't unfortunately have the um, the, the limousine unless you do what I showed you guys earlier. Tom the Personality. And we unlock Shandi. So we can call her up as a homie right now. So let me show you guys a few things now. As you guys see, this is new now. Purgatory here. So there's been an elevator built, the Saint HQ has been renovated, this is what it looks like when it's finally, um, uh, finished. So remember, it looked like a dump at the start, but now it looks really nice. So this right here, this is actually the boss's, um, uh, quarters. Very nice. This is kind of the off- the boss's office too here. The gang all hangs around here now. I'm doing this to pay for law school. Hey, you say for me, baby. I'm a saint. So I just basically wanted to show you guys that that the HQ has been renovated now, and it actually looks um uh, it looks actually really cool. Everywhere else out here is you know the old you know destroyed thing, but in here. It's the entire HQ has been just changed up. So let me show you guys this here. Every single, um, you know, gang territory that you take over ends up having a penthouse. The Ronin have two penthouses. The, um, uh, Sons of Samdi, there's two. Um, uh, but, um, one's, you know, the default one. So let me show you guys this, the University Loft. Let me also turn off the music here because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get such a copyright claim for this. Ah! Okay, so you see it looks like a dump at first, but 
I should bring some of this. You can change it. So, always love that. You can customize the place. Classy or ultra modern? Take ultra modern. 50 inch plasma. So this is this place isn't as fancy as the Ronin um uh, safe house, but it's still um or the Ronin territory safe house, but it's still, you know, it's still a pretty nice one here. I just love you know the all the different options that you can put on them too. When it comes to the housing, Saints Row 3 was actually missing this when it came to the housing. You couldn't um uh, you couldn't actually choose the styles of the housing. And here we have our original apartment that we never really fully customized. So let's do this right now. Overall style. So right here, change this place up. I think it definitely looks nicer now. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. On the next part, we'll be starting up the Brotherhood and doing the first Brotherhood um, mission. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. My main focus is I know a lie. She better not follow me. This is optometry. The MP11s, that's the only way it's gotta be. Be a bulletproof, I'm sitting on 20.